Well, hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. This is the Crafty Cockney bringing you more of The Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 5, and this is Part 3. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, last part, Luke died. I had two options. I could have. He he had fallen through ice and he was kind of like hanging on the edge of the ice. I could have either approached the ice and helped pull him out or covered him because there was walkers closing in and I chose to cover him and um, he kind of drowned. So uh, I was feeling slightly guilty about this but we made it to this house where this Russian lad took us. We found a truck out back. Kenny's trying to fix it. He's asked us to turn the engine. Let's get on with this shit. That sounds like the battery's completely dead. We're so close, Clem. With a little bit of luck, I can get this thing running. And then we can get out on the road and really make some distance. No, the starter motor's not even going, mate. Wellington's got to be out there. Now, those rumors can't all be bunk. Sounds good to me. We're going to make it, Clem. I know it. All right, turn it again. We're going to try, dude. We're going to try. Or die trying. Did you turn it? Yes. God damn it! <sighs> Kenny, are you okay? We gotta get moving if we're gonna keep AJ alive. We're running out of time. I gotta get this thing to start. Gonna try warming up the battery. Go on inside. I don't like leaving him with that girl. The liquid inside could be frozen, but then again, the radiator would be completely frozen as well. Sorry, I used to be a mechanic um, years ago. In Australia, funnily enough. Bit of useless information for you there. Let's look at the excavator. If that's got a live battery, we could jump the truck with it. Wish they'd finished this place. Hey, Barney. She having a cheeky smoke. What do you want? I'm sorry about Luke. Sorry. It must be nice being a pretty little girl. No one ever expects you to do a damn thing. Hey, that's not fair. You and I both know you had a chance to save Luke. You and I both know what happened back there. I got nothing more to say to you. Well, okay, that went well. She was sitting there watching us through the window. Mike and Arvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. God damn it! Seen that look before. Son of a bitch! I've seen it too. A few times. Then you know what's about to happen. I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy, too. Once. Probably had a nice job, and a nice, pretty wife. Then all this happened. And one day, he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. We can still make this work. All I'm saying is, start thinking about what happens if you're wrong. You two have known each other a long time. Sooner or later, they're going to have to decide how much that's worth. I think it needs food or something. Yeah. She got a clue, she. <laughs> so 
Seems like you've done that before. You wanna try? No way. It's gonna puke. Clem, no. Hold it like this. Hey. Hi. <laughs> My name's Jane. I think it's gonna puke. <laughs> it's not gonna puke. <laughs> it puked. It puked. <laughs> it puked. <laughs> Gross. There's not much left. I was running with some people a long time ago, down near DC. Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He was a douchebag. Anyway, the dick got stuck under a car hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Lost four people before we got him out. So we made it? Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turn and rip the neck right out of this old lady. Jesus. The look on her face was... She was just staring up at the sky. Like she was watching a bird. Look, Clem. You got it going. He got it working. Have transport, ladies and gentlemen. It works. What I tell you. So what's the plan? How much food do we have? At least a week. And for the baby? We need to find a place for the baby. Yeah, someplace warm. I agree. We should head back south. What? We're gonna freeze to death. I don't know whose stupid idea it was to march up here in the first place, but it was a bad one. She's right. What if we went back to house? Wait, what? Fuck that. I was thinking more like Texas. Texas? What the fuck? It was just an idea. We already talked about this. I'm sorry. We did? We're going to find Wellington. Right, Clem? Wellington? Kenny, it's freezing up here, man. It's only gonna get worse. I'm with Kenny. We should head north. Goddamn right. Clem. My friend Krista. She told me about Wellington a long time ago, Jane. It's out there. Look, I don't give two shits about what you people think. I got this truck working, so I say where we go. And we're heading fucking north. It's the best chance we got of helping AJ. Why have we always got... What about Arbo? Who? Oh, the Rusky? Yeah, he ain't coming with us. You're just gonna leave him here? I don't give a good goddamn where he goes. He's done. We should ask him what he wants. There's a concept. He knows the area. He can help us. Oh yeah, some help he's been. He got Luke killed. I ain't gonna say he helped the situation, but maybe if you'd eased up on him before, he wouldn't have run away in the first place. You ever think about that, Kenny? Either way, I'm not going anywhere in the middle of the night. Yeah, me neither. There could be a herd out there. You want that child's blood on your hands, Mike? We're all gonna die out here if you don't calm the fuck down, Kenny. Haven't we been through enough for one day? Jesus fucking Christ. Remember the last time we had a working car and sat around on our asses, Clem? I'm going inside. God damn it! You can't just walk away from us! Oh, it's a boiling point, this, isn't it? You better talk some sense into him. For his sake. It's constant fighting now. At least when Lee was there, you know. God damn it! God damn it! That stupid fucking... Get the fuck out of here! It's me! Clem! Sorry, just... Give me a second. Close the door. Can you believe this, Clem? I bring them a working truck, and they act like I just shit in their cereal. 
I knew Jane would have a stick up her ass, but I thought at least Mike would have more sense. They're scared of you, Kenny. Well, if their big plan is to wander around in the woods, they ought to be scared of more than me. Did you hear me? We're all scared. Look, we got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Clem, think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, what if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? A lot of folks died to make that happen. A lot of folks died to get us this far. I know. You're right. Someone's got to keep this group together. That kid's depending on us. <sighs> I wish Lee was here. What'd you think he'd say? I think he'd tell me that he doesn't have all the answers. We can't just give up on this kid. I mean, what's the point of going on after that? That's what people like Lee knew. And what people like Jane won't ever understand. Look, I know Wellington might be bullshit. But where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? You know, when I first saw you back at that lodge, I thought I was dreaming. And when you sat down next to me and we shared that meal, well, I could tell that you were different now. Grown up. I felt pride. A pride I hadn't felt in a long time. But I need you now, Clem. There have to be folks doing better than us. Yeah, but we can't do it alone. We need the others. And that's why I gotta be able to count on you, Clem. We gotta convince him. You and me. Look, we'll figure everything out in the morning. Come on, let's get some sleep. So we gotta be ready. Guys, you gotta let me know. Uh, you know, am I right just going with every decision Kenny makes? I'm kind of pushing back a little bit, but I am kind of just sticking with Kenny. Do you think I'm right in doing that? Clem, 
Clementine. <gasps> Lee? It's just a bad dream, sweet pea. What was it about? Duck? He's bit. We don't know how this works yet. Maybe it's like a cold. His mom's a doctor. Maybe she can help him. It's not like a cold. No. It's probably not. I feel bad. Why? I called him a crybaby when I hid the bug in his pillow. Oh, that's okay, honey. You didn't mean it. Lee? Why did Lily do that to Carly? I don't know. She was sad, Clem. That can make people angry sometimes. Because of her dad? Yeah. Clem, people don't always make sense. How come? Because bad things happen to everyone. And it's hard to keep being yourself after they do. Do you think we should have let Lily stay? I don't think so. I don't know. It wasn't easy. I don't know if we did the right thing. How can you tell? Well, it's not like math, Claire. Sometimes there just isn't the right answer. I hate math. <laughs> Me too, sweet pea. Uh, but part of growing up is doing what's best for the people you care about. Even if sometimes that means hurting someone else. I don't want to hurt anyone. It's not that easy. I'm scared, Lee. What can I tell you to make it better? That you won't leave me. Oh, I wouldn't do that. I promise. Everything's gonna be all right. Try to get some sleep. Oh, we missed this dude. Okay, Lee. Isn't that when Lee fell asleep as well and woke up and had a bad dream and Clementine was a zombie? <laughs>